<laughs> well, what a day. Good morning. I've just parked up in the village of Llandurnog behind me there. And I'm heading to the Cludians. I'll show you where I'm heading. That's where I'm destination. There's Moyle Arthur there. But the way I'm going to get to it is Llangwyfan. Llangwyfan Wood up through, through there and then across down the dip. And then a bit of a climb, and then over the summit of Moilatha, down the dip there, and then back down to uh, Fonduno. So yeah, it's good to be back out. Uh, last walk was the, the last Saturday, was Moil Vamai, which is the highest peak of the Cludians. But this is a shorter walk, so a bit of a pimple <laughs> compared to Moil Vamai, although Moil Vamai is not a mountain. Although it's, they call it the Cludian Mountain Range. Moil Arthur there, and that's the Coitlanguivan, Penaclothii, and Moila Park, and all that. But it's the Cludian Mountain Range, but they're just hills, really. That's what I call them, anyway. So, yeah, it's good to be back. Good to be back out on a walk. Right, let's keep going. There's one, two, three steep sections before I reach the summit and then it's downhill all the way then. So a bit of a road section and then first steep section and then steep section in Coid Langwyvern and then steep section up to the summit. Then once I get over the summit it's just downhill then. Right keep going. Beautiful morning. So in front of me, directly in front of me there that's my destination, Moilatha. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pheasant. Uh, but like I say, I'll be getting to it from Coid, Flangwyvern. But quite a clearish day today, so we should we get some nice views from the summit. Quite warm too. AONB. Area of outstanding natural beauty. The shelter, Sanguivan, uh, Highfield Park, it says there now. Used to be uh, called Sanguivan. The Sunny. <laughs> anyway, unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles. This is the first of the uh, three steep sections and it is steep <laughs> and it gets dark as well the trees is like a canopy it gets dark <laughs> but it's steep you'll see a bit later it's starting to gain a bit of height now although it probably doesn't look like it on camera but just around that bend there that's the uh, steep section. It's not very long, but it is very steep. <laughs> May not look like it much on camera, but it is steep. But it's only short. Just after that bend there, it levels off a bit. And then the next steep section is hung. Well, quite Langrivan or Langrivan Woods. That's it. It's the end of the first steep section. Gentle climb now before I head off up through Coit Langrivan. I'll see if there's any see if there's any eggs for sale today. <laughs> Honesty box. Sorry, no eggs today. <laughs> Not that I was going to buy any, but uh, the house on the hill. <laughs> anyway, keep going. Nice, moderate, gentle climb, and then I'll be turning off in about half a mile, something like that. I'll be off road then. These roads are narrow, but they're very quiet. Just get the odd car every, you know, so often, but. Not too bad. The uh, Kilforth Byway. It's a walk I've done many a time. 
but not today. And you might be turning off, see these cars here, you can park a bit of a space, but I'll be turning off in a second. As you can see, just about to enter Coit, Clang with them. Now, C O E D. See, Welsh lessons, you get Welsh lessons in my walks. It's not coed, it's coid. It's like as if you're saying C O Y D. Coid, not coed. So it's coid, Clang with them. Clang with them, woods. Very muggy. Very humid. Be glad when I gain a bit of height. Also I get a bit of a, a cool breeze. But it's very, very muggy at the moment. I'll be turning off this path in about 100 yards, something like that. And beginning the second climb. Okay, this is where I leave. The main path, I turn off there. You can carry on going that way, um, but that is the shorter way up to the Pinnacle of the Car Park. But it's steeper, <laughs> so I'll head that away. As I say, you can carry on that way if you want, but I'll head up this way. As I say, it's shorter, but it's a lot steeper. Oh, this is the second steep section, by the way, up to Pinnacle of the Car Park. Looking down. And that's looking up on the other path, I don't know if you can see it there, it just gently winds its way around but as I say this is the more direct route but it's a lot steeper but it is shorter oh it's very humid there's no air anyway keep going onwards and upwards Oh, that's it. This is the uh, Penaclodii car pack. To head up to Penaclodii, another hill fort, you'd head up that way. And it shows you. <coughs> you are here! <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I just showed you that path up there. But uh, I'll be heading this way, short road section. And then that's the, there, this is a bit steepish, but not too bad. But that's the final steep section. And then there's Moil Arthur. Just do a bit of a detail, look at the views. And then back down and back down, down the road. Back down to uh, Tandurno. So this is the car park, like I say. Short road section. And then start of the uh, third and last steep climb. is where I turn off the short road section and as you can see clearly marked Moil Arthur <laughs> and this is the uh, third and last steep section see I do all my own stunts get over this uh, style while filming <laughs> all right Oh, someone right up the top. So, as you can see, Moil Arthur. And there it is, it's the last steep section up till about there. And then it's like a gentle climb then. Oh, it's come, it's two people coming down. If I can get them in shot. There we are. Anyway, I'll speak to you roughly where, where they are now. Well, there's three of them coming down. Right, onwards and upwards, literally. Might be a bit cooler up there too. Oh, it was warm in the, the woods there. Humid. Anyway, onwards and upwards. A bit cooler up here. <laughs> oh, very muggy in the woods. Come up there to the car park. There's a, well, a bit of pentacle of the eye, but... Whew, I was looking down. Uh, somewhere... There, is it? Roughly. Where I've parked up. It's on Anyway, keep going. 
<laughs> third and last steep section. There's the uh, car park that just come through. Pena Claudia car park. There is height of gain. There's Pena Claudia there. So you go over that down the other side and you come round to the Kilford Byway. Right, keep going. Easier up here, a lot cooler. Shows you that bit of height makes a hell of a difference. All right, keep going. Right, so that's this, that's the end of the last third and last steep section. Just a bit of a meander along there, and a bit of a detour up to the summit, and then back down the other side, and it's literally downhill all the way. A lot cooler up here though. Better though. Oh, I found that Flangry Van. Flangry Van Woods, what? Wow, it's humid. Very humid, but. Doesn't seem to be anyone else up here. Just them three were coming down. So keep going. <coughs> yeah, clue your mountain range, especially from aerial shots. These patches here. One there, one there, and you'll see if you look at aerial photos and stuff, there's patches there where the head has been cut away. Some at the top there. As I say, if you if you look at it from an aerial shot, you see all these rectangle patches. It's something it's scientific. It's something to do with the testing how the heather grows or something. I haven't really gone into it myself, but see there's one there. But it's something to do with it. They're testing something to do with the heather and how it grows and what have you. But they're all covered. They're all all included in the range. If you look at aerial shots, you'll see them all, all these rectangle patches. They're a bit sheltered, you know. Anyway, keep going. I was just coming to the, uh, just quick detour up to the uh, summit, as you can see there. Moil Hill, Moil Arthur Hill Fort. Nearly said Moil Hill Arthur then. Moil Arthur Hill Fort. And you can see, well, you, from the summit, you'll be able to see Moil uh, Vamai, Jubilee Tower. So, just a quick detour, then I come back down here, and I headed back down that way. Literally downhill all the way, join the Moil Arthur car park, and just follow the road all the way back to Flandurna. I won't be filming that though. Anyway, last little push. It's not much of a climb this, so I don't categorise it as my uh, steep section. It's just a bit of a gentle incline. Anyway, I'll speak to you on the summit. It's the Jubilee Tower in the distance there. More than my, but while I'm here, I'll just talk about, I've talked about this before where I lost the use of my hands. Um, I did the walk, not so more than my, in middle of the crest. Anyway, it carries all the way round. It's a fair old walk, and I always remember coming down here, and it was windy and it was raining. And you got the, uh, the wind chill factor, and I didn't pack gloves. It was sort of unexpected, like a cyclone, like wind and rain. And I couldn't use my hands, I lost the use of my hands. I had a hell of a job getting the key, starting the car. I got home, I put them under the, not a hot tap, a warm tap. 
and I just could not use my hands for about three hours. So it just shows you. I always remember that. So pack gloves <laughs> in your rucksack. Yeah, it was weird. Totally numb and totally, you know, I, you couldn't, I couldn't even do that. It was just, it's just useless. Absolutely, totally lost the use of my hands. Anyway, I'm going to start the summit now. Right. This is the uh, summit. Just, some people don't know where they came from. Oh, they're heading down. One minute they, they weren't there. Next minute they were, they weren't coming there behind me. Anyway. Anyone up here? No. Look at that for a view. The Vela Cluid. <sighs> Someone trying to build a cane. Right, I'll show you what I've packed up. Is there a Slendernog? That's what I've packed up. So it gives you an idea of the walk. It's not a long walk. Not a long walk by, by my standards. But so uh, yeah, that's Slendernog. I'm looking across to where it was last Saturday. Jubilee Tower. Memorial Van Nuys. But yeah, it's Pentaclaw the Eye. Park. It's a TV bus. I'm looking back towards Liverpool. See the Mersey? It's over there. It's a focus in. That's the River, Mer <coughs> River Mersey. And on a good day, with a, well, a pair of binoculars, you can see the live buildings and that. But it's a bit, a bit cloudy today, but that's the Mersey. Looking towards the pool. Liverpool. Right, so, oh, it's nice and breezy, a lot cooler. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always, hope you enjoyed my ascent of Moil Arthur. I'll end the shot, I'll end the video with a, a shot from the bottom there, about a quarter of a mile from Flandernog, it's one of my best views that you get of Moil Arthur. So I'll, I'll end the video there, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.